Hello, hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I love these shrines. The shrines. Oh yeah, uh, Tyrant King's been talking about the Old World Blues submod for Hearts of Iron. Uh, isn't it? I, I knew what the name for the 6.0 update is going to be. I used to know at one point when I followed the news a lot more heavily early on in the channel. Because one of the main things on my channel in the early days was the Old World Blues mod for Hearts of Iron. Uh, but I don't remember. Oh, well, this seems simple enough. The Badlands. Yeah, I believe they said they're going to go with the canonical ending of Tactics, which is that everything got destroyed. But uh, that you'll be able to make choices to try and rebuild the calculator. Which, I'm going to be honest, I think the calculator is one of my favorite villains in Fallout. Like, Tactics was just very, very cool in a lot of ways. Okay. What is going on up to the... Oh, oh, is that the... That's the end? Okay, so then over here is the bonus area. Come on. Come on, Luke. Hmm. Yeah, do I... Okay, I'm gonna try this. Right, because you're supposed to make a lever, but I should be able to... Go over this way, and now I use the rotate tool. What am I doing wrong here? Or what the hell? Okay, that's not working the way I thought it would. Uh, I... So, Harry Death Claws are an interesting thing, because they were originally meant to be a hairy enemy in Fallout in general. Ah, there we go. But they cut that element, uh, because they couldn't render it well on original tech. And so the tactics team was like, hey, what if we made a regional variant that was hairy? And in general... I wish the Fallout series did more regional variant enemies as a whole. Because I think that's conceptually a very cool thing. Enemies that look different depending on the part of the world you're in. Ooh, hang on. I think I see what I can do here. Come on. Shit. Hmm, how do I get that? Oh, wait, can I just grab the chest? I can just grab the chest. I cannot just grab the chest. Uh, hang on. I think I know how I can get up there, but right now what we gotta do is this. Like, I love the gator claw, and in my brain, the death, cl the hairy death claws are just something similar to the gator claw, in that it's something that is technically... <laughs> In no way related to the Death Claw, but people treat it as something related because it's a similar creature, you know? I just want more variety in enemies in Fallout. Uh oh. Oh, hang on, hang on. I can still fix this. I can still make this work. Yeah, I mean, the the Brotherhood is it, nothing if not inconsistent. Come on, oh come on! Hang on. I need to take you off here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I just break this? There's got to still be a way. Hang on. Can I, I? Can I just do this? There's no way they would let you just break a puzzle. There's no way. 
Also, I just realized, hang on, there's probably a, a far easier way to get that chest down, I just realized. There we go. Can't go wrong playing Zelda and such. Yeah, I, I adore this game. This is easily my favorite Zelda game ever. Eventually, I want to go and play the other Zelda games on the channel. Okay, now how do I fix the thing I just broke? Can I... Hang on. Ah, here we go. I can fix it from this side. Oh shoot, hang on, not where I'm meant to glue it. And now we just do this. Here we go, I did it. Oh no! Fuck, it broke again! God damn it. No, no, give me that. Oh, hang on. Solution. Move this backwards in time as far as it can go. Come on. Oh no! Shit! Fuck! Hang on. I'm good at solving puzzles! I got a big brain much smart! Alright, now, go over here, and from on top of this, you gotta pull that off. And instead of attaching that over there, we instead attach this over here. And now we have what we need. How long 5.0 took them to make? Uh, over a year, right? Because it feels like it's been a while since I last heard about Old World Blues getting a major update. Alright, I finally solved this puzzle. Three years, damn. But to be fair, it's something a bunch of hobbies do in their free time, so... I don't know. I love the Fallout community because its dedication to modding and, like, fan-created content is incredible. I also hate the fan community because it's full of fascists who f refuse to understand the media they're engaging with on anything more than a surface level and misinterpret all of the tongue-in-cheek satire has genuine support of fascism. It's fun. It's the same issue Starship Troopers has, and now, uh, Hell, Hell, what is it, Hellbreakers 2? Hell, what is that game? I'm blanking on the name. That game's also like a tongue-in-cheek tongue in cheek rip apart of fascism, but so many people are like, Yeah, military super state! Yeah! It's like, how do people not understand this shit's a parody? I do not care about you, Mr. Wizard. Alright, uh, now we want to go to... Yep, yeah, just over this way. All right, let's get this shrine over here. Trying, trying, trying. It's funny, uh, like, all my favorite media all has the horrible situation of I can't tell people it's my favorite media because they all have god-awful fan bases. <laughs> you know? Like, again, Fallout. It's, it's comedic how many people don't understand the themes going on in Fallout with how fucking overt they are. <laughs> oh. 
Sorry, I was just sipping my coffee. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Multiple, yeah, exactly. So, Old World Blues is a constantly evolving beast. And that's part of what makes it great. Okay. Uh, Hang on, sorry, just one second. Slight distraction. Okay. So, we've got, oops, wrong thing. We got a bunch of pegs and a ball rolling. I obviously have to get the ball in there and that'll open the ending path. The bonus object is located over there. Okay. I'm understanding what they want with me right now. Helldivers, Hellraisers. God, what is that space game called? Whatever it is, I want to give it a go because it looks genuinely really fun. Okay, hang on. Yeah, but it's so hard to tell people you're a Fallout fan because, like, there's so much objectively bad with Fallout. No, wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> the building mechanic in this game is fucking incredible. I love the Ultra Hand. Easily the best gimmick any Zelda game has ever had. Uh, there's a surprising one nation from the original 5.0 tree creation that actually survived till the update. That's cool. Okay, so now... Yeah, I adore strategy games even when I suck at them. Come on, switch hand. So I need to put a peg. That should be a good spot. That should catch it. All right, and then I need to do another peg. Hang on. Ooh, not what I meant to do. Shit. Give, give me that back. Give me that back, damn it. God damn it. There we go. And now I just... This is a fun one. Yeah, I love this game. Oh shit. Oh, don't, don't, don't move all the things back to their original spot. Okay, it didn't undo too much of my work. That's good. Just that one. And we've done it. Easy peasy. So, I didn't really go out of my way to finish every side quest in Breath of the Wild because I wanted to get to this game. I might go out of my way to finish every side quest in this game. We'll see. I might skip on some of the more tedious ones, and if I don't find one, I might not do it. But I am just loving playing this game. More so than I did with even Breath of the Wild, and it really is a simple addition of the Ultra Hand. Because Breath of the Wild was missing a gimmick. Every Zelda game has a gimmick, and gimmick has a negative connotation to it. Gimmicks can be great. The Wii was one big gimmick. The Switch is one big gimmick. But they're amazing consoles. And the Zelda series, every game's quality is based off its gimmick. Because prior to Breath of the Wild, every Zelda game was more or less exactly the same game with a unique gimmick. You know? Like, it was... It was 
Here is a link to the past. This will be the formula we follow forever. Ocarina of Time is a link to the past, but 3D. Majora's Mask is a link to the past, but with a with a time travel mechanic. Uh, Wind Waker is a link to the past, but in a massive open world ocean. You know, all of them were just the same game, but with a gimmick. And then Breath of the Wild reinvented the game to form a new baseline that the series would build off of. And now, Tears of the Kingdom is just Breath of the Wild, but with construction. And I love that. It's great. It's very what? fun. Actually researched and talked about people... Oh yeah, I know about that. They were putting out so many roll calls. Because the game is set in Canada, they wanted to talk with ca Canadian Aboriginal people to give the game vibes like what they those people do for... or what, uh, what those people's lives are because they made the logical assumption of in an apocalyptic scenario where the Canadian government crumbles, the aboriginal people would likely start taking back all their land. I want to go help this Korok. Ooh, hang on. I gotta try out. How good does it work? I'm assuming you need the full outfit for the, f uh, for the full benefit, but let's see how good this works. Can I climb in the rain? If so, I'm going to nut. Oh. Oh, okay. I went for about double the time before slipping. So, it's mildly better. So, we want to climb, 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 climb. Jump now. So it's better than nothing. You know, when I have the full outfit, I'm sure it'll be way better. The folks for the Im French immigrant that lived. Oh, that's so many. That's so cool. See, I love that the effort that they're going to with the sub mod, and it's what makes it so beautiful. All right, let's grab an apple. Give to the Korok over here. Oh man, I'm almost out of apples, huh? I should go and harvest some more at some point. Apple. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah! Alright, little Korok, where's your friend? <clears throat> Excuse me. Friend got separated. Ah, oh, he's up there. Alright, how am I gonna get him up here? Hmm. Yeah, I love the dedication. Is there stuff over here I can grab? Mm. Honestly, buddy, if I had my hovercraft, I'd be willing to help you no problem. But, um, I think I'll leave you for now and help you another time. Sorry, bud. I want to vote in the terrain. Hmm. We finally managed to leave Gerudo Town and set off in search for Vo. Oh, are these the students from the last game? I think I recognize them. These are the ones who are in the romance school last time, I think. I wanted to put all our Vo and you lessons to the test. Yup. But none of the Vo we've met to measure it up. I love that. Oh. Oh. Oh, and that reminds me. Before we left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the, the outside world. They called him a hero. Ah. A hero, huh? I'm always finding at this stable people who are fawning over the hero, huh? I bet he's strong, Vo, who's taller than us even. Okay, I'm going to take him out. <gasps> You mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover <laughs> how to be the one to make the first move. Anyway, I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero, but how would we even recognize him? Oh. The legendary sword. Now I remember, the hero is carrying a legendary sword. Mm. Okay, the legendary sword. Wait, what was the legendary sword anyway? If it's good enough to be called a legendary, it probably glows or something. Oh, maybe. It's really tall. Maybe it's really tall. Taller than even us. Even if we were standing on each other's shoulders. Mm. 
Ugh, that sounds like a real pain. It'd be easier to just launch a surprise attack. If we're real careful, we can sneak up on the target. Oh, she, she wants to uh, get a boyfriend in an uh, unconventional way. Risa, you have to stop re referring to both as targets. Ladies. <laughs> We're finally getting to truly... Uh, okay. Mm. Are you gonna... Ah. Oh, hang on. What was that? Hmm. I'd like to go after an intellectual. So I want to head towards the Cludia. <laughs> I think I'll find what I'm looking for in the Kokuriko village, where the Sheikah live. It reminds me, I heard there's a new town in northeast Kala called Terrytown. Apparently, there's a Garuda working for a construction company there. Maybe we could use that town as a home base. Nah. We could head for th head to Faron in the southeast. I heard there's a rare newly discovered animal there. <sighs> what does that have to do with finding Vo? Ah, uh, you guys don't care about me having the sword? Uh, there we go. Uh, hey, is there really a Vo talking to us right now? Uh, so fun fact, I believe Link is about five foot tall. Meaning these women are about seven to eight foot tall. So, uh, um, <clears throat> mom, mommy? Pasha, Dina, now's our chance to put our relationship to the test. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. I, I just need to write a letter to him. I'll keep an eye out for the band. For <laughs> you keep an eye out for bandit ambushes. Uh -huh. We're with both hands, both hands! He won't feel safe if he can't tell both your hands are empty. Nah. Yep. At least in the old lore, I don't know if this game has changed that lore a little bit, because it looks like Ganon, the new Ganon, it looks like the Ganon in this game might be a new Ganon, rather than the, the reincarnating villain from all the rest of the series. It's all, it's all about food with Vo. I bet he's hungry after his travels. I'm sure he'd love to go and hunt for that newly discovered animal in Faron. <laughs> I love her. What kind of silly suggestion is that? She, she listen. Don't don't get mad at the autistic girl. She's my favorite right now. The Faron region is so far from here, off in the southwest of Hyrule, that whole subtropical area. Why would you mind? Why would you your mind jump straight to a faraway place? And more importantly, I don't think sending a Vo away is the right approach. Hmm. Banjo, bah. Okay, they're just uh, looping back to the start uh. now. <gasps> okay. Okay, yep. Oh, hang on. Are they gonna notice the sword? It's a Vo. And is that a sword he's carrying? It certainly looks like one. Maybe he's the hero. Hmm. But that sword isn't glowing at all. It isn't nearly as tall as e even one of us. Mm -hmm. Should we take him out? <laughs> no, no, Risa, remember our lessons. Brute force isn't the answer. <laughs> anyway, there's no way such a short bow is the hero we've heard about. Let's keep looking. It's okay, short kings. You'll find someone eventually. And also, my weapon glows. <laughs> Bitches. Ugh, I got a stuffy nose. And you know what? It's been 20 minutes. So, we'll continue exploring the stable next time on Tears of the Kingdom. This stable is taking up a lot of time. But I don't mind so much with this being a daily series and all. Uh, end cards will be appearing in just a moment. Click once to continue watching. Love all you very, very much. And ta-ta for now!